Uh, hey guys, what's going on? So, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a video about Blade Dancer. I'm just kidding. I do <laughs> literally every every single video that I, I ever do is um, a Blade Dancer video. And it's normally talking about Blooming Dash Blade Dancer. Um, but I... Uh, I've been trying to push trophies, and this is annoyingly where I am right now. Um, and I had to fight my way back to that because I lost a giant quantity of trophies. So I won a bunch of trophies uh, with the Harlequin buff. Um, the, uh, the it was dark uh, faction uh, triple like the headhunter bonus. Um, three things will upgrade. And if you haven't seen that video, uh, you can go back to it. Um, I it was like a video titled like two hours before this broken uh, unit expires or something like that. Um, and it was really good. It was really fun. Um, it was really funny. Um, because of how good it was, uh, and it was just, it was the idea of leaving three Harlequins on, it was Blooming Dash Blade Dancer, and it was the idea of leaving three Harlequins on growth tiles, and then, um, leveling up, uh, focusing, just focusing straight onto, um, upgrading a Harlequin and a Portal Keeper to five, and then in five turns, because of Headhunter, um, you could then copy all of your, uh, your the, the other blade dancer, the, the one blade dancer, and you'd automatically have five, you'd, you'd automatically have four, uh, level five blade dancers and a portal keeper. And then you would just, you just literally just win the game. And it was, it was insane. Um, and so I used that to basically get around to where I currently am right now. And then the faction bonus expired. Um, and it's now technogenic, so it's just random. Um, and so then I was like, all right, well, do I do, uh, do I just do regular Blooming Dash Blade Dancer or do I try to play, um, Floral Frenzy? Um, and I attempted to play Floral Frenzy with a lot of random things. And what ended up happening, um, because I was trying to be smart about it, right? I was trying to play the smart version of a Floral Frenzy deck. The, the smart version is like, gadget and chemist or gadget and trapper or gadget and sharpshooter right that's like the smart version because you're using all of your power cards all the things and it, it was just not working because when you take out uh harley quinn and you don't have portal keeper and you're trying to run double support and by double su or triple su quadruple support um and by quadruple support i mean like knight statue and you would think that dryad and scrapper would help you fix things um because then you could just like upgrade you know the ones that go, go into place um that just slot like oh i want my blade dancer right here i want my knight statue right here as soon as i get one right there i'm just gonna dry at it and then i can eat it e i can eat everything else it was just not working out just game after game after game um and then you know because then you have an a another factor which is a trapper or a chemist or you know that other extra like damage support card right and i was just losing a lot um i lost to this robot deck I won against this um, this Demon Hunter deck. I lost to Inquisitor. I won. I uh, um, and then uh, and then I started winning. Um, I guess it was before this. It was like right here. Um, so I lost against Tesla. Um, I tried to switch to Spirit Master, and I don't have a level fifteen Spirit Master, so I just died to Cultist. Um, I continued trying to play it, and I died to Blade Dancer. Uh, tried to switch to Monk, but I obviously don't have a level fifteen Monk. Um, and it doesn't scale well as, it, as much as it used to. Um, so I thought that I could just push my way through crit percentage, but I face against somebody who not only has a max unit, but had higher crit percentage. So then I lost against that. Um, and then I won against here. And then this was probably one of the worst battles. Um, but, or I mean, I, I didn't even like, I, I didn't even want to deal with it. Um, because not having a uh, mermaid against robot shaman is just the worst the for my deck. Um, what did I, I, I won against, um, I won against, uh, Demon Hunter, and then I lost this against Inquisitor. Um, and I was just, it was just this weird streak of, like, losing enough to, like, keep me push it, keep pushing me down. And what ended up happening when I started winning again was I just decided to build regular Blade Dancer, regular co-op kind of style blade dancer um and i just won here here and here and because of that i decided i wanted to make this video um so 
this is going to depend on a lot of different things. Um, and I think that all of the different things that are in here, um, if you have them, I think that Floral Frenzy can be good again. Um, I don't think it's not, it's obviously not the best, but I feel like with my crit percentage and just trying to get to 6225, I should be able to do this relatively easy, um, with like a 4200 crit percentage. Um, and, so what I did was, it's just regular Blade Dancer, but instead of running Elegant Parry, I'm running Fencing, um, specifically because I'm running Mermaid, but not only that, I'm also running a Counterspell. So if you don't already know, I rerolled a bunch of my talents, and I got double Abundance on my Hunter's Jacket and my uh, Amulet of Growth, um, and Abundance, the way that it works... Um, as soon as your unit hits 5, you get an automatic 10%, which means that for 2, you're getting an automatic 20%. Um, you're getting 20% bonus um, for every single... Or 20% bon bonus damage. And then for every... Um, because I have 2, for every level above that, so you're at 5, right? 6 and 7, you're getting plus 4% on each. So you can get a maximum of 28%. Technically, yes, you could run 3 Abundances, and I think that, that it, th there's a there's something to be said that you could do that. I think Counterspell is obviously better, um, because getting rid of negative effects so that you maybe theoretically don't have to even run Mermaid um, might be even better. I think if I had Triple Counterspell... I might try this deck and not and, and and not run Mermaid. Um I think that Mermaid is still really good because I think that this deck still dies to Robot Shaman or any type of like Shaman Witch Toxic deck. Um because when you're just accepting every single hit, um you you, you just you you lose. You can't out dryad that. Um and then uh because you're just getting hit and you know I uh, you're losing units. You're you're wasting so much mana using Scrapper um, to upgrade a unit just so that it can get mana down again. And then you mix that with Red Guys, and you mix that with Assassin and Warlock. Like it just it, you can't combat everything. And Mermaid um, not only is it giving you mana so that you can summon in more, um, but it's also obviously protecting your units. Um, and even more importantly for Mermaid um, is the immediate bubble, uh, the hidden defense bubble. Uh, the hidden defense bubble, um, it's so good because, uh, like, getting a random, getting a bubble, uh, every 30 seconds just for free on any unit that happens to get negative affected is so good. Um, I don't even have a level 10 to get the power surge and obviously not a level, uh, 15 to get the crit chance, but I feel like that would even become better. Um, and the, the way that I'm playing this, uh, it's Night Statue. Um, I'm, I'm running a Covenant, uh, Roll Call, Hold the Line, uh, Soul of a Warrior. Uh, the Soul of a Warrior is going to affect you a lot. Getting the extra 10% defense, uh, down, or the extra, I'm sorry, 20% defense down, um, is going to be huge, um, because you're not running any other support card that does that effect. You're not running a Chemist, you're not running a Trapper, um, but what you are, or what this deck is doing, is I'm running double abundance and the double abundance to get 20% per unit is huge. Um, that is how I'm able to combat not having a trapper or a chemist. Um, and then having the night statue, um, get, get, having it at max and getting the, uh, the defense down, um, also just really helps. It also helps, um, because it has AOE and I find that that is also, it's a really, uh, uh, something that extra that the level 15 night statue provides as well. Um, I am running a fairy of rage dryad. Um, I am summoning in, I'm, I'm playing a lot more conservatively, uh, than I would in co-op. Um, in co-op, you kind of just like set up your entire like board and then you're done. And then you just kind of like scrapper for the rest of the game. And the way that I'm, I've been playing this because I'm running a growth tile, um, I'm, I'm playing it a lot more conservatively. Um, and, and that, to that, the, that's to say what I'm doing is I'm trying to build on the like two growth tiles and then utilize the other uh tiles to keep merging on i've never gotten to like the plus 40 percent or the uh it's it's large the plus 50 percent 55 percent i can get a 55 percent bonus um which is why growth tile is so good i can get up to 55 percent for um forest faction and i've never gotten anywhere near that but just the 
incremental amount of bonus that you can get over the course of a game is is good enough. If you can get to 55%, like you're doing really well. But um yeah, so if you if you just utilize like you set up four um blade dancers on a knight statue and essentially you just start merging on the other ones and uh what you end up doing is you build up four knight statues or four uh blade dancers that are level 5 and then once you start slotting in the other blade dancers um you're just those four that are your like core four um what ends up happening is uh they get stronger because you're just adding blade dancers because blade dancers just are blade dancers are just simply existing on the field um and so you can not necessarily not care about those um but the fact that you have the four that are your core four that you've been building up the whole game, uh, just, it, it, it just, it, it gets, you're doing, you're doing so much more damage than if you tried to spread out seven blade dancers and two knight statues and tried to upgrade them all at the same time evenly. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna show you, I've talked a lot. Um, I'm just gonna show you one game. And with that one game, which is against Tesla, um, Inquisitor, uh, Tesla, uh, I'm sorry, Tesla, uh, Night Statue Chemist, um, he's running a, a level 17 gadget, he's running Pocket Curse, he's running Morally Gray, he just has all of the, all of the, all of the things. Um, for some reason his Pocket Curse wasn't proccing, um, or as much as I would think. This happens to me every single video. I never look at my battery life. Um, I'll be one second. I don't know how that meant, how I let that happen to me every single video, but I, for the last like three or four videos, I've always gone down to 15% as soon as I basically start my video. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to play this. Um, and it, it, for all intents and purposes, Tesla is a much better damage dealer and he should win. Um, he doesn't have a high level, in, uh, knight statue. Uh, he has, what is this like a level 11 knight statue maybe a, maybe a little bit higher um he has a chemist which i assume is uh a max chemist um and he has reasonably good uh, uh equipment he ha he's running hunter's jacket instead of mage robe um but he does have a gadget uh the the key um and then he has the uh, level 17 gadget which is solid um he's not running growth style um but i mean like for the most part he has a spear uh, and he also has higher crit than me. Um, and so I, I feel like I lose this game most of the time. And I end up winning this game. The the benefit that Harley Quinn gives you in being able to uh, slot in the exact ones that you want, um, it's just, it, you can't match that. And it's, it, it, it's to the point where I'd rather run Harley Quinn than, a, than an additional support card and hope that I get a blade dancer here and a knight statue here and a blade dancer here because it's not as easy as you would think and I I was losing games um, because I there was one game where I had where I got where I had double bosses I got to double bosses and I had two blade dancers the entire game and they weren't even touching each other uh, it was like one on top one on bottom and it was awful I, I had them both at like level seven and I had nothing else. And if you're wondering, how do you have nothing else? Um, every single time I was summoning in, I was either getting dryads, uh, that I just tried to combine into other dryads. And then I just kept summoning in more dryads or I would summon in, I would summon in scrappers. Um, or I would summon in trappers that turned into other trappers that, I couldn't do anything with, or I would get knight statues in bad positions. I could not get a knight statue in a correct position to save my life because you don't have Harley Quinn to copy. And, 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 and it feels like that's not big of a deal. Um, but if you think about it, if, even if you like, so right now I only have like, I only had like the one square available. The amount of things that could summon into that one square, even if you just ate it and then moved it and then ate, like put in another thing and then, you know, like ate it and then moved and then ate it and then moved. It could just keep not being exactly what you want. And that that's what ended up happening with my entire board. I could not get a blade dancer 
anywhere that was correct. And it doesn't sound like something that should ever happen. And trust me when I say, like, take Harlequin out, put in whatever you want. Put in a trapper, put in a chemist. It is so hard. It is so impossibly difficult um, to get... Because then you're just playing the luck game. You're essentially just playing the luck game. Um, where you're hoping that when you merge two things, it'll become what you want it to become. Like, if I merge two scrappers right here, it could become a blade dancer that I would need, or it could just become a level two scrapper. And now I have to, now I have to deal with that. And, like, you have to, you can, you only want to go, like, one, two, and three. Um, and once it starts becoming, like, a level three knight statue, and you have to eat it, and then summon in into that spot again, and then it becomes like a scrapper, you know, like, it's just, it's insane. And if I have another, like, ridiculous game like that, I'll show you, but I, I really think that if you just play conservatively, see, like, right here, um, the two, the left side is what I'm trying to build on, um, and everything else I'm, I'm essentially just eating. I'm just, like, I don't care about any of this. I care about Dryads, and I care about, like, leveling up things up until, like, level fours or, uh, like, level three, level four. Um, but essentially, I'm just trying to upgrade. I'm trying to, um, in that, like, level three spot, uh, where that very awkward scrapper is, um, I was just trying to get stacks onto the Knight Statue. Uh, by merging onto it, and then I get stuck because I have these two level threes. It would be an easy option to just eat the level three um, growth, or the level three Harlequin on the growth tile, um, but I did luck into the uh, level three Dryad, and I was able to copy everything, and now I, I should be able to use everything. Um, while at the same time also getting stacks on the uh, Knight Statue, because when you combine Dryads on t next to Knight Statues, that's also giving you stacks. So if you ever want to combine a Dryad, always combine it next to the Knight Statue, so that the, uh, the Knight Statue gets stacks, and then you can upgrade everything else. Um, so right now I have, I, we're still in single bosses. The two that are on a growth tile are both level 5s, which means that they both get 20%. They're on a level 5 Knight Statue. Um, and now I just, I need to figure out some way to deal with these level three, uh, scrappers. I don't, I, I questioned upgrading another scrapper and using all my dryads to get it to a level four. Um, but it just didn't seem like, it, it didn't seem, I, I didn't want to waste all of it. I saved the, uh, the one, uh, blade dancer with just a singular dryad because it was a pocket curse. Um, I think that's basically the only time I ever get, oh uh, no, I get pocket cursed again. Um, and it was like the best pocket curse because the the level three on the bottom uh, be turns into a level two, and I'm able to merge it out, and I get like the luckiest merge, which it, which becomes like a level three uh, blade dancer, and that's how I get a blade dancer right there. I never liked this deck um, very specifically because I never liked elegant parry. Um, I don't think it's an efficient way of cleansing, um, and that's why I'm using Fencing with Giants, and I'd rather use Mermaid, but Mermaid by itself also isn't enough, um, especially with the nerf, uh, and it's not, you're not able to fill the board with, uh, Mermaid Bubbles anymore, it's very difficult to, to fill the board, especially if they have a better deck, um, if they have a deck that uses Dryads, which is most decks, um, most, uh, Dryad players will have the level 13 talent with the Poisonous Fruit. Uh, the Poisonous Fruit will also get rid of your, um, your, um, your bubbles as well. And so then that becomes a problem. So even just having Mermaid with this deck, I don't think is good. Um, I think I, I'm really benefiting from the fact that I, I have a, a, a legendary counterspell. Um, I have a common or uh, the 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 next rare down uh counter spell on my um free to play account um that i'm using with demon hunter it's definitely not as good as the legendary version the legendary version is what i what i feel like a counter spell should be um the other one you kind of forget that you have a counter spell um i it, if you if you roll it i guess keep it but just know that if you do get the, the that there there is a big difference between um, the other counterspell one and counterspell two.
Um, at this point, I'm able to just uh, upgrade onto the... I get up Blade Dancer right there, and instead of trying to upgrade my Knight Statue even further by eating it and then merging away, um, I just decide I'm going to start building. I get the really lucky Mermaid right there uh, that's able to take the Dark Priest buff away. And really shortly, um, he's going to uh, pocket curse me, and it's gonna hit the uh, the bottom level two, and I get like the luckiest uh, the luckiest merge out. I'm pretty sure right here I don't really want to do anything. Um, and right here, I think that's probably where it's where it happens. Right there. Um, I got the bubble on the first one, and then uh, the second one that got hit was that one, and then I merged out, and then got the level three uh, blade dancer. It was the luckiest thing. The hidden defense bubble comes into play so many so many times. It's funny how um, you could have a debuff and then they hit the um, the thing that's de already debuffed with like a uh, like a poisonous uh, flower off of Dryad, and then you'll get the hidden defense bubble and your de your original debuff that you really cared about, like a dark priest or something or a king pudding, will then go away. And I think that that's um, a really funny interaction. Um, but yeah. Uh, he has, like, 300 more crit than me. Um, Max, uh, Max Chemist. He has a level 12, uh, Knight Statue. Um, I feel like 9 times out of 10, this deck beats me. And I just, just, I think this deck is really good. I think, I think Floral Frenzy, mm, with double abundance, obviously, with a lot of the pieces that, are, that I currently have in here, I think it's much better than, uh, trying to do Blooming Dash.